everybody? This is Lyle Don't Hit Me Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be making some fish tacos. It's something that I, I think I have a video of a fish taco up a long time ago back when I first started this channel. But it's something that we have around this house pretty frequently. But the reason I'm motivated to make this video today was a couple days ago I was looking at a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel's name is Chef John Polite, And I'm going to put a link to his channel and iCard above and the description below. He's a classically trained chef, and looking at this video really made me want to make some fish tacos today. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, over at his channel, he has all kinds of stuff. Uh, he also has a seasoning that he's selling over there, so run by his channel. Tell him no hippie sent you. Anyway, what we're going to do is come on in and take a look at what the ingredients are I'm using. Then we'll start knocking this out. When it comes to fish tacos, the fish is not the star in this. The, to me, the star is the slaw. So our ingredients are going to be green and red cabbage. I have some jalapenos, tomatoes, cilantro, bell pepper. You could use red, green, yellow, whatever. A lime. For our fish, we're going to be using a blackened uh, Cajun seasoning. Some crema, avocado, red onion. And as far as my vinegar, I'm using a pomegranate red wine vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you want to get that acidity in there. We're going to be using some uh, flour tacos. Usually I go with the corn, but I'm going to use uh, flour today. Some honey. I'm going a little off the reservation with this one as well. And uh, <clears throat> some homemade habanero hot sauce. And then I have some tilapia. Normally I would go with a, a cod on this, but I bought this tilapia for $1.99 a pound and regardless of anything, $1.99 I just couldn't pass up. So that's what we're going with on that. Why do I have two bottles of crema? We'll get to that in a minute. What I'm going to do now, just so you're not uh, waiting around, I'm going to go ahead and prep all this stuff up and meet you back in a minute. This is how I make my slaw. I have this uh, cabbage and that is finely shredded up. Uh, same thing with the jalapenos. Now if you're cooking, don't be afraid to change up the recipes. I did mention I was going to use bell peppers. Rather than using that, I added a few extra jalapenos. But I have those cut up very thin as well, lengthwise. Same thing with the tomatoes. These are pretty thin there. And the onions also were sliced very thin. So we get all that in. Now I want to have a little bit of sweetness. Sometimes I'll add mango or something like that and don't need it. Since I don't have that, we're going to hit it with some of this honey and we're just going to eyeball it. And then some of this red wine vinegar. Feel free to use whatever kind you want. This pomegranate goes pretty well with it. So we're just going to hit it with a few dashes of that. Some of our blackening seasoning we're also going to add in. And this may not look like much, but once it sits in the refrigerator, a lot of this stuff comes out. Now, you're saying, why do you have two things of uh, crema? Here's what I do. This, this is a little under a quarter full. I'm going to squeeze in some of this. This is a brand new one here. So I added some of that. Now I'm going to put a funnel on it and squeeze in some lime juice. Actually, that's a very juicy lime, so that should be enough. Then I have my homemade habanero sauce. And I'm going to add some of that in. And then we are just going to shake it. And this is going to be for our topping of the uh, tacos as well. So shake it up, get some of that in there. Like I said, it may not look like there's a lot of dressing in here, but once this all starts coming together, this may actually be, I may end up actually draining some of this off. So we're just going to mix this in, uh, let this go in the refrigerator for a couple hours, and uh, then we'll get down to cooking the One fish. Thing I really don't like is when I'm making a recipe and I forget something. I forgot to add my cilantro in there. So, boom. It is heated up pretty good. I'm going to hit it with just a little olive oil spray. 
and then throw this fish in here. Now, as far as the seasoning goes, we went back to this uh, Cajun's Choice blackening seasoning. So, anyway, we're going to let that go a while. Normally, what I would have done was fry this, you know, battered it up a little bit, and then uh, put it in a little light oil. But, like I said, I'm trying to cut back a little bit on this weight. So, we're just going to go ahead and uh, pan grill this. About three minutes on one side. Let's go ahead and just flip these over right quick. And I am using my non-stick uh, skillet right now. Most of the time if you see me cooking, you see me cooking in either cast iron or that uh, stainless steel. But I do break this out every now and then. And this is going to go about another, you know, three, four minutes. And it's going to be a done deal. With the fish, so that's kind of what the fish is looking like. It's looking good. Now we just want to heat up these tortillas. So I'm just going to throw it on this skillet on low heat and just get it a little warm on both sides we have everything here let's go ahead and make some of these uh tacos up just going to take a little bit of this fish here start plating Here is what we are looking like after it is all plated up. Now all we have to do is taste it. Now all is left is to do a taste test. Now, what I did was I did it in a skillet without any breading or anything like that just to make it a little bit healthier. But make this recipe your own. I'm going to put a list of the ingredients in the description that I used. But deviate from that however you want. Anyway, let's taste. Just as I had mentioned earlier, that slaw was the star of the show. But I really think grilling that fish brings out a lot of the, you know, the natural fish flavor rather than frying it, which is typically what I do. What I want you to do is go take a look at Chef John Pleat's, you know, YouTube channel. Take a look at his recipes. See what you think. Anyway. I do appreciate you stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.